Alonso and Hamilton are both on quick laps. Alonso will finish his first. He goes quickest to 120.1. But what can Hamilton do? He's faster in sector one. He's faster in sector two. There he is. In he goes. He's very clean. Exit beautifully. Looks like he's got it well under control. Should be pole position. Well, he goes fastest at the moment, a 1.19.7. The important thing was to be faster than your teammate. There's a psychological factor as well as a, the tactics can also mean a uh, psychological tactic. Well, at the moment, Alonso having to wait again for the optimum moment to go out onto the racetrack. There's Lewis Hamilton queuing up behind him. Have they raised the lollipop to let uh, Alonso out? Now, Alonso's not getting on with it. Only a minute and 40 to go. He's, is he blocking Hamilton here? Is that a bit of a tactic within the team there to give Hamilton a bit of a headache? That's I think it might well be. That's really, really, that's really up to you now, Chubb. I think he deliberately did that. I mean, it's a big thing to say about a two-time world champion, but the lollipop was raised a good five seconds before Alonso drove out. He knew Hamilton was queuing behind him. Checkered flag and Hamilton's missed it. Hamilton's missed it by four seconds, so he is not going to get a lap in. Well, at the moment, he's still on provisional pole position, remember, on a 19.7. Alonso needs to find four tenths of a second. And here's Hamilton not going terribly quickly. John Dennis was out of his chair. He's absolutely furious. The engineers were screaming down the radio. Come on, get on with it. And the mechanic was waving at him. Meanwhile, Alonso faster than anybody in the middle sector. Is he going to take provisional pole position on this very controversial day? Drives like, yes, he does. He goes through on a 19.6. But there are going to be some serious words in the McLaren garage. Alonso really, I'm afraid, uh, stuffed it to Lewis and the, the camp is split in McLaren, you can see it. I'm going to go for it, James, I'm going to put my mic in, dive in, in front Ted, of... Dive in, Ted, dive in, I would, just dive in, Ted, go on, get in there. Ron, um, what happened there? Yeah. Uh, we'll discuss it later, one it has been discussed in the team. It looked like Fernando just wasn't... Was it a problem or was he waiting there deliberately? As I said, this matter will be discussed in the team and then we'll sort it from there. What we did see also was that gesture from Lewis Hamilton, arm around Fernando Alonso, all seems to be well inside the McLaren camp. Those rather strange delays before you went out for both runs, was that your decision or the team holding you back? The team was, was holding me back in, in this and uh, we tried to keep uh, to have a little bit of space. We had the, the Ferrari in two stops in front of us. Tell us about those minutes, those seconds when you were stacked up behind Fernando there. Um, not really much to say, I think you, you saw what happened. Um, you know, I... I've been very quick today, which is good. Made improvements over the weekend. The team did a fantastic job. Diplomacy is the order of the day.